Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, I'm going to talk about can you build a big set of arms without using any isolation exercises. Before I get into this topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas I turn into videos just like this. All right, this will be a hot topic and I'll probably receive a lot of comments down below. So I really honestly want you to listen to the discussion so we can have an intelligent debate. All right, can you build can you build big guns, big arms without isolation exercises? Well, what usually happens in these discussions is people come along and they'll say, "Look, I built big arms without any isolation exercises." And you know what? That is true. You can build a reasonable reasonable set of guns without isolation exercises. Now, to, to be rational thinkers, we really have to ask ourselves, just because you can build a big set of arms without isolation exercises, does that mean that the size you have without isolation exercises would be the same if you used isolation exercises? We don't know, but in my opinion, from my experience, I've always seen larger arm size when I used isolation exercises. So we have to understand the logical flow. Just because you can get somewhere without using something doesn't mean it's optimal. Let me repeat. Just because you can build big arms without isolation exercises does not mean it's optimal. Now, that, that's not a, a slam against not using isolation exercises. That's not taking a position saying one is better than the other. That is simply stating the logic and the rational analyzation of what we are talking about. Now, in my opinion, in my opinion from my experience training myself and training others, there is value in adding isolation work. I am firmly for it in every possible way. I do not think we should seek the minimum when it comes to training. I do not think we should just take a black or white stance on any issue when it comes to training or nutrition. I don't think the discussion should be, can we use only isolations? Can we use only compound movements? That's black and white thinking. I think the reality of most problems and most questions in lifting and nutrition will land in the middle, and that is the gray area, use both. I think that's the rational way of looking at it. I think that's the reasonable way of looking at it. And again, just because you can achieve decent arm size with only compounds or maybe even only isolations doesn't mean it's the best way. Now, a little story from my experience, and you guys that know me know that I've been lifting for about 35 years. Uh, back in my powerlifting days, I decided to make the switch to frequency training and I got really, really strong. My bench got stronger, my squats got stronger, my deadlift got stronger, but I stopped doing isolation exercises. A few things that I noticed. Number one, after about two years of this, I noticed my arm size was down. So without the isolation exercises, my arm size shrank by about, I don't, I don't recall, maybe about three quarters of an inch but it was noticeable. It was a noticeable decrease because I had not measured my arms in, in about two years, and to top that off, I gained 30 pounds. So I'd gained some fat on my arms, but I still lost a noticeable amount of arm size. Now, what was really telling during this time is that on my bench press, I started to pick up a lot of strains and pains in my biceps and my brachialis. I also noticed that my eccentrics felt tediously slow and uncomfortable, and I couldn't figure out why for the longest time. When I went back and added in isolation type of exercises for my biceps and triceps, I noticed that my eccentrics felt better and I stopped picking up frequent strains and pains from bench pressing. That's not saying this is a case for everybody, I'm just sharing my anecdotal story, my little bit of anecdotal evidence. You can do with it what you want. You can put it in the big old crapper of information and flush it if you want. So, should you, could you, could you build big arms without isolation exercises? Yes, you can. Is it the best way? Well, again, 
black or white? Is it either one or the other? The answer is probably both. Do both, kids. Do both. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.